So what do we got here? Got a 1909 Cy Young baseball card. That's cool. If I was a pitcher, I definitely would want the Cy Young award. I don't think you'll ever get one. You never know. <laughs> I came to the pawn shop today to try to sell my 1909 Cy Young baseball card. I like to sell my card today because I have a two and a half year old daughter and a brand new three month old daughter, and uh, diapers and formula just aren't cheap these days. I'm looking to get about $1,000 today, but to tell you the truth, I'll take whatever I can get. All right, yeah, Cy Young is the man. Won over 500 games. I know he pitched a perfect game. I had a few no-hitters. Yeah. That's why there's the Cy Young Award, because of Cy Young. So you got this from your grandfather? My father inherited it from his great-grandfather. That's cool, because I either trashed all my baseball cards or my mom threw them all out. <laughs> right. Every single one of them, yeah. No one really believed baseball cards could be worth money one day, especially in... What year did you say this was? 1909. The first baseball cards came out in the 1800s. But the early ones didn't come in a pack with gum, like when I was a kid. They were used to help sell products. Some of them came free in packs of tobacco. Rick, don't these cards go for a lot of money? Yeah, this card in, like, perfect shape, I'm sure it would go over $10,000. Yes. Um, but it's not in perfect shape. It's in terrible shape. You think it's that bad, huh? It's definitely that bad. One of the things they judge when they grade baseball cards is the corners. Hell, we can't even grade one corner. I have a buddy that knows all about this stuff, um, but he's not available at the moment. So um, I'm just going to do the best I can. Even in the best of condition, most baseball cards are barely worth the stock they're printed on. But Cy Young is one of those rare cards that collectors go nuts for. So what do you want to do? You want to pawn it? You want to sell it? I'd like to sell it. What do you want for this thing? Oh, about a thousand. You got the other corner? I wish I did. I'll tell you what, I'll give you 200 bucks. Oof. I was 102 years old, though. Yeah? I can't do 200. I need either in that. 250? <sighs> the condition's so bad, it's, it's tough to even grade. Mm. It's been in the family for so long, I just feel you gotta do a little better than that, man. I'm sorry. I'll give you 300 and I think that's a lot of money for this card. 300 bucks is the most I want to be on. Three it is. OK, all right. Go write them up, chum. Be careful with that. Don't spill a Coke on it or anything. Yeah, like I can hurt this. I'll meet you over there. <laughs> to me, 300 bucks is definitely low, but in this economy these days, I'll take it. Hey, Jeremy, how's it going? Good, Rick. What's going on, man? I got something I want you to look at. All right. Cy oh, Young cool. card. Cy Young, no kidding. Uh, where's the rest of it? Um, I don't know. We're still looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> the guys usually call me down to the pawn shop whenever they have a piece of sports memorabilia that they need some more information on. It's in a little rough shape, but it's definitely a cool card. I mean, this is Cy Young, one of the most well-respected pitchers of all time. He played from about 1890 to 1911, set records that are absolutely never have a chance of being broken. Most impressive, 511 wins. He also has a record for most uh, complete games. How many games did he play? He played over 22 seasons. He started double headers. He finished double headers. He pitched an awful lot back then. Yeah, because I know back then they'd have 22 inning games, and it would be the same pitcher the entire 22 innings. Right, which is why he also has a record for the most losses. OK. <laughs> Cy Young actually did change baseball. His fastball is so dominating that it's rumored it's because of him that they had to move the pitcher's box back five feet to where it is today. B.A., it's the Boston American League. Right. The card itself is pretty rare. The actual number of cards out there versus how many are in good shape, that's what decides how valuable they are. We paid big bucks for that bad boy. I paid 300 bucks for it. You paid 300 bucks for this? Yeah. I've seen these cards in better shape sell for over $10,000. Unfortunately, what we have here is missing a corner. Give me some good news. Uh, I don't know if I can give you good news about that. As is, you're looking at around two, $250 tops. OK. These old cards can be tricky sometimes with condition. He just needs to make sure he gets a hold of me before he makes his next purchase like this. Every purchase we make is a gamble. So you have to take that into account when you buy something. You got to get it for the right price. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. I'm just glad my dad's not around to give me a hard time about this.
Wow. This thing is nice. This is a casting out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95 and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.